Welcome to Stars and Scopes with your friend Uma. Now the moon is full in Pisces and Mercury goes retrograde in Libra on Saturday the 10th of September. So I thought rather than let the messages get lost in astrological translation, it'd be better if we sat cross-legged in my room with a candle in our jammies and I gave you a good old-fashioned tarot reading instead. Let's drop into our intuition. Let's explore dreamland together and let's get Pisces. Let's get psychic. <laughs> if you'd like to support the work, you can always head over to buymeacoffee.com forward slash Uma Ruby and put some money in the tip jar. But other than that, relax and let's see what happens. Hello, Gemini. I've never really started a reading with the tower in reverse there seems like there's like a false start here there seems to be some kind of conflict that's happened or some kind of uh like impact that's happened for you straight off the bat that maybe has not given way to a clearing just yet. I think that there might be something here about shock. I don't know. It may have affected your ego in some way. It may have affected your confidence, your ability to express yourself and to be, be, be proud of who you are. It's almost as if there was... It's kind of like hit you from the side, this occurrence. And there seems to be something here about there's someone in your energy that uh, has perhaps wanted something uh, too much from you in terms of your heart, in terms from of your emotional body, there may have been, perhaps there was something that you were engaging in that, that you were misunderstood and that's led you to question your ability or to question your, your, um, your sense of pride. There seems that someone has perhaps this energy here, this Queen of Queen of Cups in reverse, is someone that is perhaps cut off emotionally. Perhaps there was something, uh, there was a rhythm or a flow that you found yourself in that, for whatever reason, was sort of hit by the side and then it stopped. And now you're sort of left wondering, oh, did was that my fault was that my did I encourage this misunderstanding or did I bring about pain for somebody else I wish that I, I hope that I didn't but I, it seems something that I have said or something my behavior my actions have brought about this rift here It doesn't seem like it's coming, It's this isn't like a universal truth or this isn't sort of like a cosmic rerouting or anything like that. This tower in reverse, to me, I'm reading it as like a just a mistake, like a stupid mistake is what I'm really getting here, which kind of is good because it kind of lowers the, the I guess, the weight of it. But it probably would be really wise for you to... I guess maybe consider how it is that you relate to people emotionally and what parts of yourself you give away freely and what parts of yourself you need to maintain a healthy boundary with. Because there's something here that's really affected your ego. It's affected your the brightest part of you. And you may be second-guessing how to either make amends for this rift in this relationship or how, in fact, to 
engage with others because you're not wanting to make the same mistake again. I'm going to pull some more cards because this is quite confusing. We do have the magician here, which would be a really good energy to work with, I think, if you can call on the elements. So call on, call, call in your heart and what your heart needs, your, your water. Call in the earth, the pentacles, the air, which is the swords, and the fire, the ones, the passion, and see what you can with those elements bring together and construct because there may have been something here that was, let's have a look, yeah, it was quite ego-based, you know, the sun in reverse is sort of, that's that, you know, think of the lower vibration of the ego, it's sort of self-centeredness or... Uh, you're not being able to see past the end of your own nose or see from somebody else's perspective or be sort of hurt, sort of like, you know, when the ego is um, threatened, it can really hurt. And so we're like, oh, ow, oh. <laughs> didn't realise that that was going to happen. You know, this is, the, this is if there was one sentence for this whole reading so far, it would be like, oh, gosh, I didn't realise that was going to happen. But let's pull some more cards. I want to see what's going on here. Spirit, what can you tell me about this tower in reverse? Because sometimes, you know, it can be like, oh, dodged it. Thank goodness. But it, this. Okay. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This is some sort of potential, like an offer that's maybe been taken away. King of Pentacles. One more. Um, three of Swords. Yeah, honey. Where, did you have your heart set on something and you were working with someone on it? Yeah, can you see this? It's sort of like or the, the, the offer or the potential of this, you know, this abundant um, venture wasn't what we thought it would be or this sidewinding tower in reverse had a basis in some sort of heartbreak. It had a basis in some sort of um, w like emotional wound. Or, or this has come about because the offer was taken away. I'm going to get some more cards, Gemini. I hope that this is making sense. I'm going to... Can you tell me more about this sun in reverse, please, spirit? What's going on with this sun? And who is this Queen of Cups in reverse? Okay, so the High Priestess is there for the sun in reverse. So this is asking, this is this is this is your intuition speaking. All right, this is this is delve deeper. You know, go go beyond the brain, perhaps go beyond the ego, go beyond the sunshine. The High Priestess is the opposite. She carries the moon. You know, she's the opposite of the sun. So there's something that as confusing, perhaps, as this scenario may be, perhaps it's making sense to you as I speak it. Who is this Queen of Cups in reverse? I've got the Ten of Wands. The Devil. Capricorn energy. And Death. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There's old habits that are sort of cropping up, aren't there? There's old ways of being or old neural pathways, things that we thought that we had come through and we had released ourselves from. But they're they're coming up and they're they're affecting perhaps the way that that you're relating to folks and I mean I see this king of pentacles here as someone who is quite abundant and has a lot around them to give and to offer and to to provide advice and counsel and also abundance and I see that this 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 offer or this connection to them has been taken away in some way
and this Queen of Cups in reverse is really feeling the the disappointment of falling back into old habits. They're really feeling kind of their, their end of their tether and that they thought that they'd com accomplished, they thought they'd conquered this, they thought that they'd moved through this obstacle, but, you know, that's the difficult thing about cyclical time, isn't it? It just goes around and around and around. And then some of the things that we think we've mastered and that we've moved forward and that we've, we've released ourselves from, they, they come back and they remind us that there's more to do, there's more to work on. If you've upset someone, and perhaps this Queen of Cups is you, my darling, perhaps this Queen of Cups in reverse, this emotionally capable, willing, able, giving person in reverse is feeling very vulnerable and uh, sad and hurt. And... You know, I see this potentiality of habit, habitual behaviours coming back into the, the energy. So that doesn't have to be, you know, smoking or drinking too much or drugs or whatever. But it can definitely mean, uh, you know, the way that we think about ourselves. In this way, it could also mean perhaps a pr propulsion to anger, quick to anger as well. I think this Ten of Wands here can sometimes represent just someone who, you know, a bull in a china shop. Tell me more about the magician, please, spirit. Seven of pentacles. Seven of wands. Queen of Swords in reverse. This is a really interesting reading, Gemini. I hope that everything is okay and I want you to know that you've got my love and support always, always, always. And every issue, every problem that crops up or arises can always be solved with communication and with processing. So I don't feel that you need to be defensive. I don't feel that you need to be protecting yourself as much as you feel that you need to right now. I mean, you know, boundaries absolutely are very important things to have, but a boundary isn't a fortress, is it? It's not a giant brick wall with razor wire up the top and um, armed guards ready to take out anyone that comes close. No, no, no. A boundary is a fence that we can sit behind comfortably and observe and interact and, and everything like that, but it keeps others a safe distance away so as not to deplete us from what we need and what you need at the moment i think gemini is a bit of love and understanding i feel that there's something here this queen of swords in reverse there's a cutting sort of nature to this energy this personality when in reverse there's something quite cruel perhaps in words that is difficult to work with and can make you feel defensive in the face of and also if you feel that you've been working really really hard on something and in a particular direction to have this kind of energy involved in in criticizing this work it can lead you to sort of feeling well what's the point what am i even doing this for in the first place nothing's coming from this nothing's happening maybe they're right maybe i am wasting my time or i am uh what else do we have here yeah it's i'm getting a real sense of disappointment in this reading gemini and i'm so sorry that this is something that you're going through And I'm looking at this high priestess right in the center and she's underneath that sun in reverse and it's like there's a lesson in here, isn't there? There's definitely a lesson in here. Maybe in some... It 
it's really time to do some shadow work. Perhaps there's been a lot of love and lighting in your energy or a lot of um, banish negative thoughts because if you have negative thoughts then they'll manifest and it's your fault. Maybe there's something around, there's some sort of like hyper um, toxic positivity in some way maybe that's sort of infiltrating your energy or maybe you've been criticised maybe for having a shadow. That could be something here too, although I don't think so. I think there's a lot to do with disappointment. It's sort of like, here's this offer. Oh, no, wait, no. No, sorry, no. Uh, I take it back. I think at this Pisces full moon, I want you to know that you're safe. And this is activating your 10th house, okay? So this is your career and your most public self. That's where Pisces is for you, Gemini. So that sort of goes to show how you can be so intuitive, you know, and you use your intuition, you use your access to, to um, psychic connection and, and, and the different access to different astral realms and, can, and, you know, dimensions, all of that sort of stuff. That is your most public face as well. So that there's something here about, yeah, the public face not lining up with what's going on deeper. And I wish that this offer being taken back or taken away or this sort of like wall being put up, I wish for you to be able to move with this and to allow yourself a moment of, of, of disappointment, allow yourself a moment to really, if you need to, perhaps grieve the possibility if that's something that really can't happen anymore for you, then take this moment to grieve. But I really keep on looking at this magician right at the end of the reading, you know, and as difficult as everything else has been, this is, I see this as you, you know, we've got the high priestess and the magician. I mean, what could be better? You know, it's like, and not to be toxically positive, <laughs> but I think at this Pisces full moon, let it let 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 it go. 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 Because tomorrow we can wake up and we can start building again. Yeah. That's your reading, Gemini. <laughs> Bye.